Hi, I'm Chris Webb, and for my individual project, I wrote a chapter for the open source textbook on using video clubs to lead and improve technology integration. This coincides with the ISTE standards for educators. Uh, the second one, leader. Educators seek out opportunities for leadership to support student empowerment and success and to improve teaching and learning. Educators shape, advance, and accelerate a shared vision for empowered learning with technology by engaging with education stakeholders. Advocate for e equitable access to educational technology, digital content, and learning opportunities to meet the diverse needs of all students. And model for colleagues the identification, exploration, evaluation, curation, and adoption of new digital resources and tools for learning. A video club is a group of teachers who meet to review recordings of one another's classrooms in order to learn and improve their craft. Video clubs have been most popularly used for math and science education, but they can also be used to help improve the integration of technology into the curriculum. Video clubs benefit many stakeholders. Teachers benefit from the acquisition and improvement of ICT skills in the classroom. Students benefit from integration of relevant technology into the curriculum and enhanced learning. Schools and districts benefit from a more skilled teacher workforce and more equitable and equal exposure to technology for their students. More specifically, teachers who participate in video clubs pay more attention to how students think, improve interaction with their students, and create a community of practice with their peers. So by sharing their use of technology, teachers can work towards the ISTE standards for technology by creating a shared vision, by sharing what they do with their fellow teachers and uh, training each other and creating a dialogue about how they use technology and create an open forum for showing new tools to their fellow teachers and receiving feedback. In addition to learning about classroom technology, which would be an explicit skill, tacit skills can also be transferred uh, among teachers in video clubs. More experienced teachers can help more novice teachers in flexibility in the classroom and help them adapt to student reactions. So classroom management. So the video club is not just showing the technology. It's showing the technology in the context of the curriculum and the classroom. So here are some steps in forming a video club. First, define the purpose of the club. For technology use, it should be for teachers to model their use of technology to show others and to receive feedback on its effectiveness based on observed student engagement. Teachers should be prepared to use new technology tools and attempt to implement them in their classroom. Goal should be parity and ability to use the selected technology in the classroom to create a consistent experience for students and exploration of new technology for the curriculum. Second step, how to determine footage for the video club. Who will record and how? So the process to record in the classroom should be consistent. And recording equipment can be as simple as a tablet on a stand or a tripod. How are videos selected for the club? Videos should be chosen based on their contribution to the goals of the club and teach others how to use specific technology. A technology tool should be selected and its use in the classroom should then be recorded for the club to view. For example, if a Google app is a tool that all members of the club want to use in their classroom, then someone with experience with the app would record their use of it. Then the club views and reflects on its use. Questions are asked, suggestions are made, and club members use what they've learned in their own classroom. The third step, who facilitates the club meetings? A curriculum specialist, a team lead, or a teacher can facilitate. 
There should be an objective for each session. For example, view and analyze a lesson using Google Docs. But research has shown that there's no significant difference in the quality of conversations between teacher-led and facilitator-led groups. The key to an effective video club lies in member contribution, feedback, good questions, and the pursuit of understanding. If you'd like to read my chapter, reach out to me and I'll send it to you. Thanks.